What's up guys, uh, this is your boy Gadam Sling. How you guys doing? Firstly, good morning, afternoon, evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. Hope you guys are doing very, 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 very fine. Today is Sunday, so try as much as possible, my Christian brothers and sisters, to go to church. Pray for your loved ones, most especially myself, of course. I need your prayer. And please like the video, and as you watch, try as much as possible to leave your comment and invite your loved ones, guys. Well, for the past few days, whiskey to Manchala has been ranting online. You know, people do not understand the reason why it was ranting and why it decided to go off online, calling, uh, calling people, cursing people's father and uh, acting all crazy and all those kind of crazy stuff because it was unprovoked. Nobody provoked him, nobody called him out. He just decided to come online and stand and start a Yanni dust. Well, he decided to give reasons why he was, he was Yanni recklessly recently. And obviously, it's because of Afrobeat. But I believe the way he decided to go about it, if you are not an Afrobeat artist, and you do not like to be recognized as an Afrobeat artist. There are several ways that you should have gone about it. Yes, there are several ways that you should have gone about it. You can just do an interview or drop an album first or anything you just wish to do. But do not just start ranting and calling people out. Because you are the one of the pioneers of Afrobeat. You called yourself an Afrobeat artist. Nobody called you an Afrobeat artist. And we, in Nigeria, any musician that comes from Nigeria is regarded as an Afrobeat artist. You can be singing so many numerous songs for numerous jia, like for R&B and everything, pop and everything. You can be doing that. Hmm? But I believe there are better ways for someone to express himself than cursing people's father and cursing people's uh, hard work, cursing fans who are paying their money on so many, on patronizing you guys. Because without fans, you guys are nobody. Nobody saying you na papa without fans. So please, you should also regard the same fan. Of course, some people say, oh, the reason why I'm criticizing Wizkid it's because I'm not a fan of Whiskey. Well, this is not the first time. If I start uh, criticizing David Doe because of what he did, you guys will say I'm not a fan. Evil Bonaboy as well. But I'm just hearing my opinion and uh, trying to be just here. So, on to the reason why Whiskey decided to rant. According to him, this is what he wrote again yesterday. He said... You lost people always want someone to educate you. You got your phone, Google research ish, or take a fight and see the world. Don't be ignorant and stupid all the time. Listen, am I African? Yes. But I do make all sorts of music. Fine music, but I don't want this label just... Ad I don't want this label just Afrobeat. That's like saying every American artist make rap. That's stupid. This is why no matter how good or amazing the music we make, be it R&B or whatever other jazz, we all get nominated in the Africa category or the other. I've made songs from different jazz of music. Made it made in Lagos is not an Afrobeat album. That's a fuse of different sound. Real music. The word Afrobeat was made up by y'all to put all we make into one box. Fela created Afrobeat. I make all sorts of music. Fusion of sound. I'm an artist before anything. True to my heart, not scared of trying each. Now, you'll drink some milk. 
What we are saying is right, oh, absolutely right. But what we are saying is that, <laughs> is there no better way to express yourself and tell us about all this that we already know? Is, it, is, there, is there no better way to express yourself? Are we the reason why these uh, awards are giving you guys or putting you guys on that one box? Are we the reasons? Are we the reason why? Why don't you outrightly call out the awards? Why don't you call out Grammy Award, call out BET, or call out every other award out there? Are we the reason why? We are not the reason. We are not connected to the uh, to this uh, uh, awards, music award. Why don't you call out the executive and tell them that you are not an Afrobeat artist, that you just sing part of Afrobeat? Even when Tyler won the Africa category, we all revolted. We said that water isn't an Afro, Africa, Af shouldn't even be under Africa category. That water should be under Haro and B or Pop category. We already said that severally. So we, the fans that are making these claims on your own behalf, you guys are coming back to start bashing us. Come on, man. Come on. That is so, 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 so unfair. Because we are the ones fighting. We even said, you guys got to recall now. We said uh, that song from Aria Star is not an Afrobeat or Africa song. It's an R.R.B. or pop song. It should be nominated under that, not Africa or something. We already said that. Well, if you guys want that category to change, want you guys to be recognized in every other category, I think you guys should call out the proper people. And it's the executive that are organizing these awards. Because the only thing made a whiskey vest for you, now be award. And most especially for Grammy Awards. <laughs> so it's not our fault now. It's not a Nigeria's fault that uh, the Grammy Award failed to see that. The fans are not the executive. The fans are not anywhere connected. Please, China, your anger to the right source. Because China, your anger to the wrong source, fans, it won't heed any results. So that's what I see all here. The guy just versing over being recognized as an Afro beat and because of that uh, it's not being nominated for every other category and many other uh, Nigerian artists even feel as that as well like Bonaball already said he's not uh, an Afro beat artist and uh, David Doebu said he's an Afro fusion so that means that this is still seeing a lot of other category I think you guys should come together and uh, send a memo to do those, uh, to do those uh, awards ceremony that see, stop putting us only on Afro beat category. And someone even said the reason why uh, whiskey is evil, evil angry and talking about the giveaway and all those stuff is because of Don Jazzy. That Don Jazzy are among those people who are selling us out. Check this uh, right up. He said. Y'all don't know the secret behind this filming. It's Don Jazzy related. Don Jazzy has been the mode Grammy and Academy want to steal. Uh, has been the mode. Grammy and Academy want to steal Afrobeat from Nigeria and Africa. Don Jazzy's selling Nigeria cheap is a big slap to Big Wiz, Udugu, and okay, that one is, uh, that's uh, where it stopped. I don't know how Don Jazzy come into this old picture. Don Jazzy is just a strictly businessman, but I know he should be a pioneer of Afrobeat and the Nigerian music first, before anything else. So the way I'm foreseeing the future, Nigerian artists will abandon Afrobeat, and American artists will take over Afrobeat. Just watch and see. Because it's what we have, that is what we hold strong. Just watch and see how Nigeria abandon Afrobeat, and America artists will take over Afrobeat. We'll just be surprised. In the next 30 years, nobody else shall won't come Afrobeat. Nobody, uh, Chris Brown, they always uh, do Afrobeat song. 
And apart from that, no be over or every other artist they jump at our full beat. Okay now, let us abandon it then now. And let's see how Americans will take over it. You'll be surprised. Usher will be nominated for an Afrobeat award. <laughs> Chris Brown will be nominated. Any night American artist will be nominated for an Afrobeat award. Then Nigerians will not even get any any nomination under even that category of Afrobeat. Let's let's watch and see. Let's watch and see. They are the ones selling themselves. It's not the fans. The fans just listen to music and buy music. So we disrespected the fans for calling them out because I don't see how they are related to his beef with all those award category or any person that is not recognizing them for every other uh, music they make. So big whiz, set up a committee within yourself and write letters to these people that you feel that are not treating you well. Tell them to start treating you well, that you are not an a only Afrobeat artist. So please do not insult the fans from Nigeria. 